Ark is a survival game that's set in the future uh, with dinos. <laughs> so it's very Jurassic Park. I waited to do this review because it kept, I kept feeling like I was very in the very early stages of survival. I wanted to wait until I could get sort of into the mid game and late game before I reviewed it. And I still don't know if I've achieved that, but at least I feel I've got a lot of hours in it at this point, and so I feel like I can review it. Um, the survival is pretty tough. Uh, your meats, or, or your, I'm sorry, your food and your water meters decrease pretty rapidly. Temperature swings and stuff, heat waves and cold flashes and stuff in game and rain and all that. It messes you up. Like, it actually does quite heavily affect what you can do um, until you get stuff to mitigate it. Like, that early survival thing, and the NPCs are a huge threat. Like, the dinos, like, dilos and stuff early on, they mess you up. Just the world is dangerous, okay? Even if you're saving, uh, sticking close to the beach. Um, you can tame dinosaurs. I've got a raptor here um, where you <laughs> you can use them to attack stuff for you. You can use them to like carry stuff um, and to carry you. You can ride around on them. Um, they level a lot like you do. You have to feed them and stuff. Um, it's a pretty big time investment to tame stuff. Uh, you basically, you, you roofie it. <laughs> you knock it out, you feed it, and you keep it knocked out until it likes you. It's a little messed up, but that's how you get a dinosaur. There's crafting in the game. Uh, as you level, you gain um, engram points, which are used to learn recipes. Um, they're for all sorts of stuff, like clothes. You know, I'm wearing some cloth right now. There's hide and stuff. Uh, tools you can build, um, and for and stuff that helps you with taming like narcotics uh, to knock out the dinos. You can also farm, although I haven't done that. I haven't messed with farming at all, but I know you can, including like irrigation and fertilization and stuff. You poop in the game as well. That happened. Um, there's social mechanics, there's uh, tribes. It's a little clunky right now, but essentially you can join a tribe. It permits you access to the tribe's buildings. You share XP if you're nearby. Um, not that it gives you less, but other people around you will get a little bit as you do stuff. It helps a lot to be doing stuff with people. Um, pick up where we left off. Uh, some stuff is just better with friends, like taming a carno like we did last night. Uh, I don't know how we would have done that without, with just one. I don't think it would have worked. Um, so one thing to note is that this game is an alpha. Its performance and optimization are pretty rough. Um, I would say if you're on, particularly if you're on an aging um, graphics card, you're going to have trouble. I have a 780 and I have trouble. I've had to turn my settings down significantly. And um, you can see this is a base that we've built over here. Um, so, and there's like multi-level building and stuff like that. A couple weaknesses of the game so far. Right now the, the, the public servers are terrible. Uh, the, they're really unreliable and they honestly are filled with a lot of trolls who will kill you and your stuff. Uh, you are present in the world while offline. Uh, your character will just be knocked out. Um, and so you'll just be laying there and people can, can kill you, can take your stuff. The server listing is pretty terrible. Um, I just had a lot of trouble with it. It's just not very um, not very well designed yet. I'm sure they're going to change it, but for now it's, it's kind of terrible. I use the out of game, the Steam server listing, it seems to work a lot better. The other thing is that be prepared to die a lot and to lose your dinosaurs and it can crush your soul. Because, like, you put so much time into taming the dinosaurs, and it, it matters. Like, you get attached, and they, if they die, it's kind of soul-crushing. Um, so it's definitely, it's a tough survival game with, with consequences, is how I would say. So. Um, it's also really rewarding when you get one and tame it and stuff. Like, I've had Breeze since level 15, which is 27 now, and it's pretty awesome. Um, one thing that's really cool, though, uh, that I wanted to note uh, is that the, the devs are super active. So though I'm saying things like, you know, the server listing is clunky, the, the tribes are a little clunky, um, optimization, things like that. Um, the devs have been super active, as in multiple patches a day. It's crazy. Uh, even on weekends, it's insane. Um, I, even though it's an alpha, I would have a lot of faith in the fact that there's so much pooping! I would have a lot of uh, faith in the fact that they are going to um, continue to update it and um, add content and stuff. Anyway, I I I recommend this game if you like survival. Um, it's a good one. There's a lot to do. 
uh, there's a lot of sense of achievement the more stuff you you tame and stuff and, and exploration like I've only been I'm a third person um, I've only been in a tiny fragment of the map and there's so much to see and it's so difficult the second you start going north or inland it gets insane like there are t-rexes that take tons of time to tame and they're dangerous hordes of raptors caves that I know are scary as heck there's underwater stuff like there's so much material in this game and it, there's so much to see anyway I recommend it I think it's been a lot of fun I think it's worth the $25 but um but yeah that's that's my take